I'm going to be telling you guys the best perfumes you can get for cheap. So to anyone who genuinely knows me, they know that my big thing is smelling good. If I don't smell good, I don't think my outfit's complete. I don't think it's a good day. Someone once told me they followed me down the halls of my school because I smelled so good. So here it is. This guest perfume is one of the first ones I've ever used and I love it to death. You can get it for $20 at Shoppers. Tory Burch Love Relentlessly Perfume is an amazing perfume. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. It is usually really expensive, but you can also get this for $20 at Shoppers. This one's a little more expensive, but it is one of my all-time favorites. It just smells so sweet and just is just so appealing. And it's the Ariana Grande one. Now, this is the one that I will die for. I will vouch this perfume for anyone. Like, this is it. This guest perfume, $20 at Shoppers. Again, here's the packaging. This guest perfume will make people fall in love with you. I would have so many people come up to me and be like, you smell so good. What is that? When I was wearing this. Three perfumes that's gonna get you a fiance. I say this while still single. First one is Kayali Vanilla. Listen, this has got vanilla, tonka bean. Basically, this is a baby making machine. You wanna make a baby? Wear this. Second one is FM. This is a dupe for MFK Baccarat Rouge. I can't afford it because I'm broke. But this smells exactly like it, and this will get you a fiance. Not just typical sweet, it's more like a exotic sweet. I don't know how to, I, I don't, yeah, it, it's amazing. Last one is Marc Jacob Decadence. Listen. You want a guy to remember you forever, you need to wear this. You need to wear this. He won't stop thinking about it. Rocha perfume that I got from Twisted Lily is one of the best female perfumes ever. It smells so unique and it has a lot of white florals in it, along with orange and tuberose, and it's just such a sexy scent. Totally check them out. Link in bio. My most complimented perfume by men. Ari by Ariana Grande is a sugar bomb that men clearly are attracted to. The sultry white floral lintrity is a magic potion. It's my boyfriend's absolute favorite. The most complimented to me is black opium. I had so many men come up to me and say, what are you wearing? I need to buy my wife that. And something about this just really gets them. Top five sexy nighttime perfumes for women. Christian Dior Addict. Tom Ford Black or Heat. Must by Cartier. Giorgio Armani Sea Intense. Thierry Mugla Alien Essence. Perfume that is sure to make other people ask what the hell you have on. This is a real head turner. Lost Cherry by Tom Ford smells like you're sipping on a cocktail of cherry coke mixed with spiced rum. It's super sweet, super sexy, and a massive head turner. I cannot get enough of this smell. Baccarat Rouge 540 is absolutely worth the hype. It's almost like a burnt sugar smell, but it's super unique. People literally always ask me what I have on, and I almost feel guilty telling them because it's so expensive, but worth it. Zadok and Voltaire is a little bit more unusual. If a hug had a smell, like if, if a hug smell could be bottled, this is it. It's soft, cashmere, woody, nothing is quite like it. It's unreal. Here's how to smell like top designer perfume for cheap. Thanks to Zara for cloning them, part two. First up is Dolce & Cabana Light Blue. If you want to smell like this, go ahead and buy Zara Forget Me Not. If you want to smell like the classic, iconic Dior Jador, then buy yourself a bottle of Scarlet Peony. Carolina Herrera, Good Girl, Glitter Collector, is what led to the creation of Dear Iris. Victor and Ralph, Flower Bomb, is what inspired Black Peony. And YSL, Black Opium. Zara has multiple clones, but the best one is Gardenia. Best Smelling Perfumes at Ulta Beauty Part 1 The Lancome Indo perfume is so good. It smells floral and citrusy and fresh and Sendai is the face of it. The Burberry Her is one of my favorites. It smells fruity and sweet with a little bit of musk and they also have a blossom one. That one smells sweet with a hint of mandarin and berry. Oh my god, the Bomb Bomb by Victor and Ralph is amazing. It smells like orange blossom but with a mixture of sweetness and it's so good. So I don't really like the Gucci scents because they always smell like nature but this new one that came out smells amazing. You guys need to smell it. This one doesn't compare to the other Gucci ones. Last but not least, the Carolina Herrera one. Oh my god, they smell amazing. They have three different scents and look at the bottle. This will literally look so nice on your vanity.
first things first every day since even if you're not doing anything not seeing anyone you need to be wearing a perfume so clean warm cotton mm, chef's kiss baby after the shower running errands gym my second everyday go-to the brazilian crush body mist oh my gosh do not sleep on her baby do you see how much i have left listen don't sleep on this and the lotion don't be afraid of masculine tones in a female perfume it just means you're a boss bitch so here's my top three boss bitch fragrances Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla is the ultimate androgynous, mysterious, luxurious boss bitch scent. This one is totally worth the money. The longevity is insane. It's warm and spicy in the opening, but dries down super creamy. It almost demands your respect. I love it. Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce is actually technically a men's fragrance, but don't be afraid. It is totally unisex in my opinion. This one is really clean, sporty, easy to wear. It's really good for a lady starting out with more of a masculine tone in her perfume. I highly recommend this scent and it will definitely turn heads. Moonlight in Heaven by Killian is luxury in a bottle. Although it's a little bit pricey, it's totally worth the money. Imagine you're sitting on an Asian beach with a woodland in the background. It's tropical, it's fruity, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a 10 out of 10, I'm obsessed. The best fragrance according to your zodiac sign. For Aries, Chloe Rose Tangerine is a fruity fragrance that matches your bold and passionate personality. For Pisces, Marc Jacobs Perfect speaks to your sensitive side, but also fulfills your creativity. For Cancer, Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance will feed your emotional, romantic side. Since Aquarius is so passionate and irresistibly charming, Versace Crystal Noir is perfect. Dolce & Gabbana The Only One is perfect for a Leo since it leaves a legacy behind. Gucci Guilty is perfect for a Gemini since it's youthful, outgoing, and enticing. Niche Fragrances You Should Know Part 1 This is one of my favorites. It's Victoria Minya. She's a Hungarian perfumer and it's her fragrance Hedonist. It is boozy, creamy, delicious. It's peach, rum, vanilla. It lasts all day and yes, those are crystals at the bottom of the bottle. I'm gonna tell you the best perfumes to wear this summer. This one's really fresh, perfect for summer and you cannot go wrong. Make sure you get the intense one. If you feel like splurging, this one is so good. This one's fruity, fresh and you can get it at like Walmart. Want to know the best tube perfume I found so far? It is from Baccarat Rouge. Well, Baccarat Rouge is like hundreds of dollars, but this is almost exactly the same. This is Ariana Grande's The Cloud. It smells coconutty. I get lost inside my thoughts, and when I start to think, oh, the time how close it starts to end up on the brink. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my wings Now I'm falling, and I can't see the ground Can we stop this gravity? It keeps bringing me down Let's go.